Hey everyone, I'm your host Scott Fry and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. Uh, we have a really quick and easy information nugget here for you today. Uh, last week we talked a little bit about citric acid and how it can erode your teeth. Uh, but today I want to make sure that everybody understands the difference between acid erosion and cavities. So most of the time with healthy teeth, uh, when they're exposed to acids and sugars throughout the day, they can recover quite well. But the bad things happen when uh, the whole system in your mouth kind of gets out of balance. And with acid erosion, what actually happens is the entire surface of your tooth where the acid touches gets eroded away gradually. And over time, this can create lots of different problems from bulk tooth loss to just generalized translucent uh, coloring of your teeth that tends to look a little funny. And a great example of acid erosion, actually you can go back and look at uh, the little experiment we did where we placed the teeth into those acidic drinks and you can see how those acids affected the entire tooth structure over a couple different weeks. Um, now what's more typical when we think about sugars and acids is cavities. And Cavities come from when bacteria that's stuck on your teeth produces acids when they're fed sugar. And when they're fed sugar, they create small areas where acids are released that create those typical cavities and those spots that you see uh, that we normally think of when we think of the sugars and acids as opposed to like that bulk um, uh, enamel loss that occurs with generalized acid erosion. So I kept it short and sweet today. Uh, but I hope you guys found it educational. Tune in ne next week for some more great stuff.